Our project uh, has been a 33-month construction project, which is now uh, complete, and we anticipate uh, 700 and nearly 25 students coming to campus in the next two weeks to occupy what has been a decades-long project. Uh, the two colleges are uh, patterned after our historic uh, residential colleges, which were built primarily in the 1930s and they try to be as true to that spirit of those colleges uh, in all aspects. One of the central challenges though has been those colleges were built before zoning and uh, building codes were in place. And these colleges need to comply with all codes and zoning. And so it's challenges such as getting uh, handicap accessibility to all areas of the campus. It took 28 elevators, whereas some of our colleges have no elevators. Uh, we can no longer uh, have loading uh, in the offloading in the street. Uh, we, so we have a covered loading dock. None of our existing colleges have loading docks. Uh, every, uh, ac every space needs uh, uh, code compliant egress in a way that uh, you can't have any uh, exceptions. And so all these things have made a real challenge uh, to building uh, the colleges. On the positive side, though, has been uh, technology has really allowed these colleges to be built in a very rapid way that couldn't have been done in the 30s. And as a result, we've been able to build what uh, couldn't have been built 30 or 40 years ago uh, because of uh, the way the electronic communication has allowed the construction process to really be condensed. And so it's been uh, kind of uh, impressive to see the speed with which these colleges have gone up and yet also see the detail.